In this video, I'm gonna go through my four stage process that I use every single season to get better at swimming and how you can use it to get better at swimming yourself. The four stages are timing, streamline, catch, and propulsion. And I'll go through in a little bit more detail about each of these as we go through the video. So first off, timing. When I first get into the pool after off season, I feel a little bit foreign or it feels foreign in the water. That kind of feel that people talk about is all over the shop. Like it doesn't quite feel natural. So I think that timing is the first thing to try and focus on in order to get that feel, that catch, that everything else that comes with swimming comes off of the back of timing. And I've spoken about this in a fair few videos in the past. So I'll link that somewhere else as well. But yeah, timing is the first one to get hold of and get good. And then we can move on to other things as well. So this is to do with your leg and arm timing. So the point at which you catch the stroke and also kick and rotate your whole body as well. So I think that really improves the breathing timing as well. So that when you're actually propelling yourself forward, you're not all out of whack. This also stops the snaking at the back end of the stroke, so you're not wiggling all over the place and you're not expelling energy elsewhere as well. I feel as though whenever I get the knack of timing, I stop being so rigid, everything flows a little bit nicer, and it just makes swimming far more enjoyable. And then you can start focusing on the other aspects as well. In order to do this, I do a fair few drills. So I do some catch up drills, maybe some pause drill. So in terms of what that looks like, it's effectively you're just holding the stroke there and then catch and push through the stroke. And I find this really helps me just to focus on exactly what's going on when. And also I use fins and paddles to over exaggerate exactly what's going on between the hand and the foot and the whole rotation. After you've got the timing down, it's all to do with streamline. So next thing is about using that timing to be as fast and efficient as possible by using good streamline through the water. Because at the end of the day, if you're not streamlined, you're not gonna be moving as effectively through the water and as fast. So in order to do that, I try and stop going across my body and try and make things as in line as physically as possible. Imagine if you're going just down a tunnel, essentially. And I find that that really helps me just to kind of like move through the water really effectively. Imagine train tracks. So you're just looking down train tracks and sometimes I even use the middle of the pool. So the black line in the middle of the lane, I just make sure that I'm swimming either side of that with my arms and just making sure that I'm following that as closely as possible. Streamline comes into effect all over the place. So it's not necessarily just crossing over the center line of the body, but also where you're sitting within the water. So making sure that your head and hips are in line, not necessarily lifting your head or burying your head into the water, but making sure that it's as straight as possible. And this goes all the way down to the lower limbs. So making sure that actually your knees aren't overly bending and that your legs are pretty straight when they're kicking. You're kicking from your hip, not your knee. Drills to help with this is probably kicking on your side, making sure that you're nice and in line with your shoulder and hand and all the way down to your feet. And I think that really helps if you use fins as well. After I've got timing and streamline roughly correct, I can start really worrying about my catch and how effective that is being in order to improve that efficiency and that strength once again. So effectively, I wanna stop, stop dropping my hand so much in the water so that I'm not basically losing the front end, front quadrant of my stroke. So I really wanna be catching relatively high, not too high, you don't wanna be trying to press down on the water uh, too much, but you wanna be like sinking your hand a little bit, but catching the water. Imagine if you're scooping a ball. So I really find that that helps a lot with being able to not necessarily like really talk up at the front end of that stroke, but just make sure that you're grabbing the water in the right way and then pushing and propelling that um, towards the back end as well, accelerating through that stroke. Lots of things comes into this, but I find that keeping a nice high elbow underwater, not over the top of the water, over the top of the water doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, nice high elbow in the water, um, making or thinking about the keyhole or like kind of that nice bent elbow uh, pull through sort of uh, phase, making sure that front end of the stroke is decent, um, 
improving shoulder strength, uh, using paddles, using a pool boy, all these sorts of things help me uh, to just focus in on that catch a lot more. Really quickly, 74% of you who watch this channel have not yet hit the subscribe button. So do me a favor, and if you have ever enjoyed the channel, hit it. The bigger the channel gets, the better the content, and hopefully the better insights and entertainment I can bring. The last stage that I focus on when it really comes closer to the season and I've got enough strength to actually do it is the propulsion. And this is the reason that it's right at the back of the stages of which I work, work through is because I don't tend to have the strength to push out the back as much as I would usually uh, when I get closer to the season and I'm a little bit more conditioned. So by propulsion, I mean you've caught the water at the front, you've focused on that catch, you've got good timing, streamline, and now all you're doing is you're trying to push right out the back and propel yourself forward. And I tend to exit my hand a little bit early when I haven't got that strength. So in order to kind of like cue myself in order to really focus on that back end propulsion, I have to ensure that basically my stroke is going all the way through to the back by my hip, using the thumb as a bit of a cue maybe if it clips my hip a little bit. But yeah, making sure I'm pushing out the back, stop turning my hand as well, sometimes I do, just to like exit the water a little bit easier and basically just stop being weak at the back end. And the more I focus on this, after I've done those other bits, the quicker it comes around and the more strength that I gain. But again, I can't focus in on this until I've got those other bits in place because I really find it very muscular to do without the other parts in place first off. So yeah, that's the last stage that I tend to focus on and it really does help then um, improve that speed and efficiency through the water and really does improve my times both in the pool and open water. So yeah, hope that helps. Let me know what you do and the things that you focus on over a season or over the swimming kind of like progressions that you do in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description or the links in the descriptions below and hit subscribe if you found this of any value and inspiration. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.